I want to do just a little tour just to show you the effort that goes into our Model Y wraps. Um, I know there's a lot of these coming to the market today, so it, we think it's really important for everyone to see the, uh, the level of effort that we put into them so you know what you can expect whenever you get work from us. All right, so we're going to be um, prepping the wheels first. We're going to start with the wheels and then work our way around. Now we're gonna prep the paint for paint protection film. We are gonna clay bar the car and get rid of all the decontamination on the paint. Uh, once we're done with that, should be ready to uh, rock and roll. depending on how bad the vehicle is. Um, this one's not too bad, so it should take us about 15 minutes or so. Um, you can tell by the clay bar staying relatively clean. So there's not too much. There's a little bit, but not a lot of fallout or, or uh, contaminants on the paint. Um, where there's dirt trapped on the painted surface, but it's under the paint protection film. So it'll kind of push up on it so it won't be a flat, smooth surface. Um, it, it, it'll make the install not look clean. So preparation is like one of the top things that you need to make sure you're on point with.
right, so uh, we're completed now with the disassembly of the vehicle. Uh, we got everything removed that needs to be removed at this point. Uh, tomorrow we will have Jeff starting the PPF, so stay tuned. John out, peace. <laughs> All right, so we always like to remove tow hook covers for install. It allows us to wrap this seam inside. So white cars, leaving any kind of seam in, at all, you are going to see potential dirt buildup a lot more highlighted versus a dark colored car. This is just the unfortunate reality with PPF, and that's one of the reasons that we like to take our installs a little bit further. This bumper, for instance, we actually choose to use the pre-cut kit which will place a seam here and a seam here. Placing seams strategically with the kit so that we r reduce risk of paint lifting. So one of the next steps is adhesive remover. Uh, this helps remove any sort of road tar or possible adhesives or, or things that didn't come off with the clay. The final step is going to be isopropyl alcohol. I know it might seem like a little bit overkill, but if you have any kind of experience with film, you just know that you want to make sure that there is absolutely nothing on the surface so that you have a clean install. Before we back roll the piece on, I'm just going to soak down the front bumper one last time really well. We're going to give it one good squeegee to make sure that any small dust particles or anything like that is off the surface.
So if you love your Tesla, we love your Tesla. Um, come see us, we're gonna give you a great product. Um, the reason I'm showing you all these details because we know that a lot of shops don't put the extra effort into these, these details on the vehicle. Um, we want your Tesla to stand out. So if you're looking for paint protection film for your Tesla, whether that's color changing it with this prismatic, if you wanna do a stealth wrap or you just wanna do a nice gloss PPF on it, whatever car you bring into us, you're gonna be extremely happy with the outcome. So give us a call, come see us, stop by, and uh, we'd love to work with you.